Hudu is a father of four from Babeni community in Kankara local government, came to this makeshift camp in Mabai three years ago. With him are hundreds of families that share the same pain, displacement by bandits. Some of these displaced families are turning to cutting trees to produce charcoal as a means of survival. This decision is driven by the fact that they are running out of options. This practice, while providing a source of income for these families, is destructive to the environment as deforestation is responsible for about 10% of the global greenhouse gas emissions which contributes to climate change. Trees of 100 years of existence are being cut to produce charcoal. When you cut down a tree, carbon emission is produced due to burning of the tree to get charcoal. Ideally, instead of the tree to absorb the carbon, it now produces the carbon. Then the charcoal are taken to homes for domestic use, releasing another carbon into the atmosphere. This is the disaster we are facing. I followed Hood to the forest. Are you not affected by the smoke? The smoke is disturbing, but we have no option than to get used to it. The process is rigorous and destructive to the health and ecosystem. Experts say trees play a crucial role in absorbing carbon emission and produced oxygen. Absence of trees leads to destruction of environment. Charcoal production involves cutting down of trees and burning them in a low oxygen environment to create a carbon-rich substance that can be used for cooking and heating. The process releases large amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, contributing to global warming and climate change. Whenever there are tree scarcity, it will result to flooding, weather anomaly and soil erosion. The trees prevent soil movement from eroding. When Kabiru Kaukumi introduced me to this business, before normalcy is returned back in our community, the displacement of these families is a result of conflict and insecurity in the region, highlighting the interconnectedness of social and environmental issues. The lack of economic opportunities and the access to basic resources has forced families to resort to unsustainable practices that further exacerbate the environmental crisis. Research has shown there are no artificial remedy that can absorb carbon emission than trees do. This can include promoting agroforestry, which involves planting trees alongside crops and providing access to clean energy sources.